With the increase in the number of cyber crimes across the globe, there is also an increase in the number of cyber security jobs. And the role of an ethical hacker tops the list. Hi guys, this is Shruti from Simply Learn. And today I will run you through this video on ethical hacking career. So let's get started and explore the world of ethical hacking. Let's begin with a few facts. Did you know that by the year 2021, there will be 3.5 million cybersecurity job openings? That is a huge number, isn't it? And also, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, there will be 28% increase in the number of jobs from 2016 to 2026 for information security analysts, which includes ethical hackers. This proves that there is a great demand for ethical hackers at the moment. As I mentioned earlier, the number of cybercrimes across the world will increase as the digital era will only continue to grow. Organizations will be on the lookout to hire professionals who can fight these cybercrimes and protect the company's data. And to fight these cybercrimes, we will require individuals who can think like a hacker. And who is that? Well, to do this job, we have ethical hackers. As you might be knowing, an ethical hacker is trained to discover system vulnerabilities. An ethical hacker is also known as a white hat hacker. He or she is given authorization from the company to perform security assessments. And at the end, an ethical hacker would have to report the findings back to the company so that the vulnerabilities can be fixed. An ethical hacker performs these security assessments with the help of various hacking techniques and tools. Let's now move on to our next topic that is the steps to become an ethical hacker. You might wonder how to start your ethical hacking career, right? Well, I will take you through that step by step. Firstly, the candidate must have a computer science or an information technology bachelor's degree. It is also possible to become an ethical hacker without these degrees, but provided you have the required skill sets and experience. The next requirement to be an ethical hacker is that the candidate must have a minimum of two years of experience in the information security field. You have to start your career with a software or a networking job and only then can you move on to the ethical hacking field. You have to start your career with a software or a networking job and only then can you move into the ethical hacking field. Coming to the certifications, it is necessary for the candidate to hold various cybersecurity certifications. Certifications play a vital role in the field of cybersecurity. Your job opportunities can solely depend on these certifications. To become an ethical hacker, you can start off with the foundational level certifications such as the CCNA and Comptia Security Plus certifications. Finally, the last step to become an ethical hacker is to clear the Certified Ethical Hacker Examination. CH certification is provided by the EC Council. It trains the candidate to protect a company's network by using the same tools and methods that a hacker would use. The CH exam will have a duration of 4 hours with 125 number of questions. If the candidate clears this exam, then he or she will become a Certified Ethical Hacker. Now that you know the steps to become an ethical hacker, let's look into the skill sets which are required to help you achieve these steps. First and foremost, an ethical hacker needs to have an in-depth knowledge of the working of the operating systems. Knowledge of Windows, Linux and Macintosh operating systems is required. For penetration testing, creating exploits and bug hunting, programming will be important. So knowledge of programming languages such as C, C++, HTML, Python and PHP will be very helpful. Basic knowledge of networking, TCP IP protocols and OSI model is necessary as networking is the foundation of cybersecurity. For securing databases, knowledge of SQL, NoSQL, PostgreSQL is necessary. Cryptography is used to secure information. It is the process of converting data from a readable format to a non-readable format and vice versa. Cryptanalysis is decryption without a secret key. In most cases, certified ethical hacker would need to perform cryptanalysis. Hence, ethical hacker has to be comfortable with cryptography and cryptanalysis. Ethical hackers should be proficient in network security control measures such as intrusion detection and intrusion prevention techniques. Now let's move on to the responsibilities which are taken care of by an ethical hacker. Let's have a look at these responsibilities. An ethical hacker is responsible for scanning systems, open and closed ports using tools like Nessus and Nmap. Vulnerabilities and threats are identified by doing this. 
In addition to scanning for vulnerabilities, they also search the deep corners of the network to spot critical information such as passwords which can make the organization vulnerable to an attack. In addition to building and maintaining IDS, IPS and firewalls, they also try to evade these security measures to gauge the performance of the systems. A lot of times, a company's online fraud or online theft incidents are looked into by an ethical hacker. An ethical hacker also checks for sniffing networks and hijacked web servers and applications. Those were the responsibilities of an ethical hacker. Now let's look into the various job roles an ethical hacker can apply for. It is a misconception that an ethical hacker will perform only penetration testing. Well, there are a number of other jobs an ethical hacker can apply for. The different job roles such as that of a penetration tester, information security analyst, security consultant and an information security manager. Let's have a look at each of these job roles one by one. A penetration tester performs the typical responsibility of an ethical hacker, that is, he or she tries to exploit a security system's vulnerabilities. This is carried out using different hacking tools and techniques. An ethical hacker can also apply for the role of an information security analyst. There is a difference between the job roles of a penetration tester and that of an information security analyst. Here, the candidate will be required to primarily design and protect the organization's network from various cyber attacks. Finally, the candidate is also required to document the identified security breaches so that it can be omitted the next time. The responsibilities of a security consultant is more or less similar to that of an information security analyst that we saw previously. As a security consultant, you will be responsible to design, implement and maintain various security architectures. In addition to this, you are also required to upgrade the security systems as and when required. Finally, an ethical hacker can also apply to the role of an information security manager. As the name suggests, this role will require the candidate to possess managerial skills as an information security manager is responsible to head the IT and the information security team. Now that we have seen the responsibilities, the skills and the steps to become an ethical hacker, let's have a look at the different companies hiring ethical hackers. To name a few, we have Bank of America, Ernest & Young, KPMG, Urban Pro and IBM. Let's now look into the salary structure of an ethical hacker. Well, in India, the average annual salary of a certified ethical hacker is nearly 4 lakhs 76,000 rupees. And in the US, the average annual salary of a certified ethical hacker is $91,000. Now I will guide you through a sample resume of a penetration tester. As you can see on your screens, this is a sample resume of a penetration tester. We will look into this resume closely and understand how your resume should look like if you are applying for the role of a penetration tester. As always, you can start off with your name and your email ID and your phone number followed by a brief summary of your current job profile. It is preferred to add your LinkedIn profile link here and also your GitHub profile link if you have one. As I mentioned earlier, this is a sample resume for a penetration tester and hence we have to have more than two years of experience in the information security field. As you can see under the experience section, the candidate has two prior experiences out of which the first experience is that of a software tester and second is that of a penetration tester. You would have to mention your latest or current experience at the beginning. You can mention your job role and the company and the duration under which you can list out the various responsibilities that you are looking into currently. If you are a penetration tester, you can mention responsibilities such as security monitoring, black box testing, documentation of the results, vulnerability scanning and so on. Below this, you can mention your first company's experience with the roles and responsibilities that you have performed earlier. Here, the candidate was a software tester before becoming a penetration tester. Let's move on to the education section. Here, the candidate holds a bachelor's degree in computer science. You can mention your degree followed by the university name or if you're applying for any other role in the cybersecurity domain, it is recommended that you list out the certifications as well. To start off with, a CCNA certification will be preferred followed by a certified ethical hacker certification which is a must if you are applying for the role of a penetration tester. In addition to it, the Certified Expert Penetration Tester certification will also hold a great advantage. 
After mentioning the certifications, you can go ahead and mention your skill sets. Here we have the technical skills and non-technical skills. Finally, you can also mention the projects undertaken. Under the projects undertaken, you can talk about the various projects that you have performed in your company or outside the company. Here we have two projects, one as a software test engineer and second one as a penetration tester. So this is how a resume of a penetration tester will look like. This brings us to the end of this video on ethical hacking career. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.